It's me, your boy, Professor McSmarty, and I am back with more science adventures. If you don't know, this week is Camp Sports Week at the Woodridge Public Library, so we're going to do a nice little sporty one for you. We've all been there. You're going out, you can take a nice ride with your friends, you guys are going to tear up the town on your bikes, and your tires are a little low. Like, what do, what do you do? What, what, what's the problem here? Obviously, when they're really, really low, you can't ride at all. you got to pump them up. But, like, how, how low is too low? Like, what's really going to affect performance? The science here is, isn't too complicated. A low air pressure in your tires do serve a purpose. When your tires are low in air pressure, they cover more ground. So this is creating more friction. If you want, if, if you just want to take a nice leisurely bike ride, that might be better for you because it, it helps with like handling, turning, if you're gonna be more accurate. But what we care about today is speed. I got a need for speed, and I know you all do too. If you don't want to go fast, then you can turn this off right now. Because we're going fast today, buddy. As always, Safety first and teamwork, so wear your helmet when you're going fast or when you're going slow. Always wear a helmet. What, what, what's the motto? What's the motto? Safety, yes, safety first and teamwork, exactly. So what we're going to do is find out exactly how much tire pressure you need to go as fast as possible. This is a pump. This is an air pump. It's kind of a little fancy. You don't have to get this fancy. You can get any old air pump. But this right here has got a gauge on it that's going to tell us the PSI of the tire. PSI stands for pound per square inch. It's used to measure gases. Air is a gas. As you probably know. It's going to measure how much air is in the tire. PSI of the tire. It's going to pop up right here, so we're going to know. For this type of bike, they say peak performance is somewhere between 20 and 40 PSI. Could be different for what kind of bike you have. You're gonna, you want to look that up beforehand, or maybe your parent is already going to look that up for you. That's the teamwork part of safety first thing teamwork. So we're going to get in there. You don't want to go any higher because you don't want to pop the tire. And also, if the tire gets too hard, that could affect performance as well in other ways. Before we get going here, I just want to tell you guys about a one-of-a-kind, once-in-a-lifetime event that we're having at the Woodridge Public Library. We are going to do Science Adventures Live. That means you and me and 50 of our closest friends are going to do a science experiment live at the library. This experiment is we're going to build and launch our own rockets. I just like to blow stuff up. It's going to be incredible. That's July 25th from noon to 1 p.m. and sign up quick because seats are going fast. Speaking of going fast, I think it's time to go fast. All right, first of all, we're gonna deflate the tires. Usually this type of bike, it has 20 inch wheels. Those usually require maybe 20 to 40 PSI. For our experiment's sake, we're gonna take it all the way down to 10. 10 PSI. Obviously, if that happened in real life, you'd know that your tires are really, really low and they need to get inflated, but just how much is that going to affect performance? We're gonna see. So I'm gonna inflate these guys. As you can see, if it's gonna go down to about 10 PSI. Oh, it's even less. We're, uh, we're, at, we're, at, six, we're at six PSI right now for this tire. You can see this probably this has a little more air in it right now, probably. We're gonna get it done the same amount, so six PSI. Turn it on again. Okay, so it's at 12 now. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six. Oh. All right, so what we're gonna do is to test this out. We have our starting line right here, these little yellow guys. On that end is the finish line. I'm gonna be going right between those two trees. All the variables will stay the same, and we will find out once and for all the best tire pressure. Like I said, it's recommended at least 20 to 40 PSI for these type of bikes. Now we're gonna do what's recommended. So we're gonna start with 20 and see how much better it is. Let's take a look. Let's go fast. Okay, that was pretty fast. I think we can go faster. So fast out there, but I think we can go faster. Cranking it up to 40. All right, kids. What up? Safety first and teamwork. This is, speaking of safety first and teamwork, this is the maximum recommended amount for this type of bike. Never go over the maximum amount recommended for safety reasons. We won't either. This is probably as fast as we're going to get. Tires, the faster we go, and we love fast. And after another successful experiment, I'm Professor McSardi. Professor McSardi, signing off from Science Adventures. Yeah! Check this out, check this out, I'm so good. That's what we call shredding.